Round and around it goes. How much does it suck? Well, I know. So, Circle. Now, this is a movie that appeared on Netflix a few days ago, and I watched it on Halloween. And the concept sounded really interesting. A bunch of people are in this room with all these little pads and whatnot. If they step off the pad, they die. Uh, if they try to do anything, they die, except for just standing still. But then everyone else starts talking, and then this machine in the middle starts going, dur, 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 and every two minutes, it kills someone. However, people have the ability to choose by how they turn their hand. And this sounds like a really kind of cool concept. It reminds me of the Stephen King novel, The Long Walk. The idea that there's all these people in this situation, but only one can make it out alive. And it, the thing is with this movie is that it could have been an internet short. It didn't have to be an hour and a half long. Now, granted, there are some interesting dialogue pieces, there are some really interesting kind of views of social disparity, racism, uh, the whole uh, age description, age discrimination, and the only problem with it is everyone in this movie, aside from maybe like one or two people, are horrible actors. Really good acting. There's this one guy in this red tweed sweater with his vest you just like I was looking at him the whole time like yes such a dingus the one thing I will give that this movie is there's all these times where you think yeah wow I really hate that guy I really hope he dies and then he actually does die so that was something that I thought was interesting is these unlike Stephen King novels where these people who are really evil like very disparaging kind of people make it all the way to the end no they, they died off right off the bat and what was interesting too which I found that the film really didn't kind of, it, it really desensitized you with how fast people were dying and people like anytime someone died people would continue on with a conversation which was actually really eerie and the thing that I thought was at the end of the movie you were gonna get this very this kind of weird moral ambiguity of was it right? Was like a hundred people just died? Well, 99 people just died and you made it out alive. What are you going to do? Like, are you actually, will you, what will you do to survive? And admittedly, admittedly, when it comes down to the final few, that part was interesting. I thought that was the shining glimmer of this movie. The idea of what you're willing to do, what human survival, the human survival instinct will make you do. However, right after, the movie blows. It doesn't... Oh, now, I'm unfortunately going to spoil it here, but you don't get really any idea of why it happened, who they are, what happened. All you get is something that looks like an incredibly ripped off, cheap shit version of a District 9 ship flying in the air. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> The con again, I, like I said, this could have been an internet short, because this did not have to be a feature length. Because when you have a mo film of this size and this budget, you're supposed to give something. Not, and I'm not saying that not answering questions isn't bad. That can be done. But the problem is you have to lead us in a direction. There was nothing to this. Absolutely nothing. There was literally just... What would happen if this happened? That is it. There's no kind of trail of crumbs. There's nothing. It literally just doesn't answer anything. That can be done in an internet short. And hell, the internet short could probably still give a little bit of a trace of something. Whereas this movie doesn't give anything. And that's what I actually was so upset about was how it ends. Because we have this very kind of this cool concept admittedly horribly acted but this really cool concept and we see what people would do and it's great up until just ah that ending ah <sighs> it's a one-time watch that's something else that's an issue about it is obviously because you know how it goes down right you know who makes it to the end so the whole point of this movie is that you're wondering who will make it to the end that's that's the also another killing factor of this movie so in the end, what's my rating for Circle? It is 
2 out of 7. It was a cool idea, it was fun to watch up until the end, and then I wanted to throw a remote at my screen going, really movie? Come on, you bastard. Also guys, I wanted to just mention that I have now partnered with Broadband TV. That's pretty cool for me because, like, wow, I might, you know, maybe getting more out of this. Anyway, that, that's pretty cool, and uh, check, their, check out their catalog. They have a lot of pretty cool people on there. And that's it. That's just my thing of the day. So anyway, guys, I'll see you later.